Singularity, or the strange attractor in our domain. In this domain, we have nodes. A node is a conscious entity. In our physical representation and experience of reality through our sense perception, each node makes a connection. When one conscious entity becomes aware and through observation and thought affecting the feedback loop between both nodes, that's represented by a connection. Each node has the ability of deduction by the Pythagoras theorem of the third eye. Pythagoras used right angle triangles. However, if you know the angle and you made a connection between A, B, and C, you would be able to make a deduction AB, BC to deduct AC. It is through this process we're able to connect and generate ideas at similar times without a direct experience through that hypotenuse, the fovier. Deduction is just one of the levels of abstraction that we can call fovea, which is Latin for I. This is where intuition, insight, and more esoteric methods of connection and experience come from, such as telepathy and access to all information at the singularity. Our conscious awareness of what is and how the singularity or strange attractor responds to other nodes becomes ever more aware as each node of experience, conscious experience entities and our domains begin to connect. And while we connect to the nodes of experience, other entities, we begin to deduce other experiences that we have no direct connection to. You eventually start making all these connections and adding more nodes that eventually generates the domain of awareness and understanding around 
the singularity. You have our domain and then you have the inner domain that's inward through ourselves as conduits to focus our attention to that singularity, what it is, how it works, and how we can retrieve information from it. Our clarity of that singularity and access to it is dependent on the balance which is represented in this diagram as being equal distant from each other. If you connect the nodes that are equal distance from each other you will get a more focused circle. That, the more nodes you add, achieves closer to the irrational number pi. In our finite representation of reality, that reality we sense, this three-dimensional reality, can never achieve infinite, because infinite, infinity, infinitesimally small, is represented by any number over zero. And any number over zero is nothingness, whether if it is a dangling representation, whether if it is an infinite representation of one polarity or the other polarity, represented here as one or zero. Binary nature of this singularity manifested in our 3D representation of existence is really two sides of the same coin. And our three-dimensional representation of reality, the X, the Y, and the Z axis, each vertice of that is 1 equals 0 at a sequence of time, or just simply a sequence. What that allows is vibrational frequencies. With vibrational frequencies, you could have node or system A feedback into node or frequency B. If both frequencies are the same, depending on their relationship, they either amplify or cancel out, which results in a relationship between these nodes of either being ones or being zeros. Consciousness comes from a more complex system represented and simplified here as two different polar frequencies, this one being like this, this one being like this, between both A and B experience. By one observation affecting the other, you create a new frequency pattern represented by this line right here, or AB, BC, is deducible by AC. And by deducing that and becoming aware of it, you could extrapolate and become aware of its existence. That is what leads to the third eye experience. This singularity here is, projection, is a projection of these nodes right here that comprise our experience through relationships or feedback functions. So far we described one part of the duality of determinism and free will which we will just call 
a function of will is is a function of observation reaction in a function of time observation reaction constitutes conscious awareness through observation by consciousness awareness you break the function of the cause and effect relationship into cause and effect probabilities. Through these cause and effect probability relationships you can have parallel conjunctures through time experience is a function of time the probability cause and effect relationship or the quantum nature of effects our observation on the rest of the universe creates the possibility of alternate parallel universe experience. At each conjecture of our awareness network is these intersections of decision. Each of these conjectures prompts us the free will to, through awareness, of these paths a decision that can lead us through this or through this. The duality of will is this equation of time. Time is a function of the singularity omni all which is the sum of all past and future are both constructs of experience. Past and future does not exist here. What exists and through our access and to enable our access to this all-knowing is the function of now. The function of now can be an experience of awareness but not an experience of consciousness. At the moment our observation creates the reaction, whether that reaction be thought or action, 
we no longer respond to the now, we respond to our construct of time experience. I will give you an analogy. The water responds to the wind spontaneously through the cause and effect relationship of certainty. When you add other systems into that equation, you create a system that, if not aware, is not a complete system of observation. And if a system is not a complete aware conscious function, then you will get the cause and effect probability. Represented by these nodes being unaware of its connection and deduction through Fovier, the consciousness awareness of all access to the now. Access to the now is the only thing that exists. The only thing that is real is the moment. If we can be reactionary to that moment while being consciousness and aware, connecting through our domain these equal distant nodes, we can achieve synchronism. Synchronism is the ultimate attainment of and respect to singular truth. It is through the singular truth that we, attri that we attain feedback wave order. Feedback wave order is represented by Benford's Law. Benford's Law is a distribution constant that through base 10, 0 through 9, the number one in any system of complete domain dynamics is a constant. I believe the one that it appears in any dynamic system 18% of the time. Randomness is represented by a distribution of equals. 0 through 9 all equals 10%. Disorder function is represented by a non-constant distribution of 0 through 9, which leads to illness and the root meaning of the word cancer, which is directly related to disorder or conflict. Conflict is resolved through awareness that is conscious. And that awareness that is conscious relates to understanding. We are living in a time now with knowledge. 
knowledge is based on facts, not truths or axioms. What leads to truths and axioms is through the hypotenuse of the unknown or wisdom. Wisdom need not know all but deduction. Wisdom need not know but instead need understanding. Understanding based on truths and axioms brings us to the awareness of all these connections and even the experience of ultimately being connected through synchronism will lead to the axis of the singularity and the gateway to that is fovii so far discussed as a product of physical reality deduction but also through our pineal gland access beyond our physical reality which is inward not outward. Thank you.